Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jamal Abiyade, and welcome back for yet another YouTube video. This time is actually a tutorial DIY home tutorial look. I'm gonna show you guys how to put up a grass wall, all right? Yes, we're gonna do the famous grass wall, the content creator grass wall. And look, today we're only gonna use minimum tools. So all we're gonna use is this here staple gun. That's it, staples, that's it, no nails or anything like that. So this is actually my second time doing this video. Last year, if you wanna check it out, Boom, I did a video right there, and this was completely renter's edition, completely free. I only use command strips. This time, we're doing a little something different. We're using staples to make this process a little faster. If you find this video helpful, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But look, enough of all that talk. Let's get into this video, all right? Chill. All right, so let's talk about what you would need to make this grass wall. First things first, you're gonna need the grass. Yes, you're gonna need the grass panels. Actually, before we get into this, anything I'm showing you guys, Buy whatever you're comfortable with. You guys do not have to do this. There's many different grass walls. These companies are not paying me to do this. So buy whatever you're comfortable with. But everything I show you today will be linked in the description for price and where I got mine at, all right? So check this out. This is the grass I use. It's actually from Home Depot. I got it because it's 20 by 20 inches. When you guys start your search, you're gonna notice most grass panels are 12 by 12 inches. I wanted to use less panels, so I got the biggest one I saw, 20 by 20 inches and it's a darker green, so I like that. Remember you guys, I bought this a year ago, so this is the same grass I used in my first video. So when I bought it, it was around $87, $90, and I'll put everything up here right here, boom. That's all the that information. Now, it's a year later, it might be a little higher, but I'll put the new price up as well. Make sure you guys, before you guys buy these panels, measure your wall. Make sure you have enough panels, make sure they're big enough, and all that kind of stuff. Second thing we will need is the handy dandy Staple gun. This is staple gun. I just got it from Amazon. Um, it was like $15. I'll put the exact price up here. Boom. Staple guns are pretty cheap. There's nothing going to be over $20. And it's cool with this because a staple gun, it came with 4,000 staples. So try to get something like that. But I'll put the link below for this as well. Last but not least, this might be a two part video. I might make a separate video for this or I might do it in this video. But I have my wall sign. Yes, my glow in the dark, the typical content creator wall sign. It says Jamal Aviade. I'm gonna put that up there as well. Um, we got that from Amazon. Um, it was $200. I'll put the link below for that as well, okay? Now we know what we need, so now it's time to start working on this wall, okay? I'm gonna move this stuff out the way, and we're gonna get to working on this, all right? Let's get it. All right, you guys, first thing first, let's unbox this staple gun. So I don't know if you guys saw how we do it. Put the staples in first. You put the staples in first. Then you put a little pusher in. Boom. And you get it popping. Let's get it. So my plan is just to start on one corner and just go, go across. Next side, go across. Um, I'm gonna put as many staples as needed to keep this up. I'm thinking one, two, three, four. And just to keep on going, I think I'm gonna do something like that. All right. All right, guys, so it's actually working. So when you're doing this, you gotta get really close to the staple. Like, make sure you move the um, leaves out of the way, get really close, and make sure you gotta be touching the wall. Boom, hit it, there you go. For this, it's kinda easy when somebody's holding it in place and you're doing it, or I have something to stand on or something. So we're trying to look for something for I can stand on so I can try to do this myself. But so, look, you might need a partner. How about that, you might need a partner. All right, you guys, so I brought a nightstand <laughs> so I can have something to step on and not strain myself and get up there. Um, all right, you guys, so I'm trying to put one in each corner and like one in the middle as well. It's actually staying up really good. It's much easier, it's just you definitely need a partner for the high part, at least the high part. All right, you guys, so we got that first row. There's a little sliver right here. I would say six inches that um, is not covered. I'm gonna come back around to that at the end. I'm gonna get the main parts done and I'll probably fill that in with that, some extra stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. So. So 
just to show you guys exactly where I'm stapling at, so you, just, you don't think I'm just you don't think I'm just hitting stuff. So I pull back the flowers and sta and staple on this part, the plastic part that's keeping it together. So pull back the flowers or the leaves, the grass, and staple on the actual yeah the green plastic part. You see, staple on this part. Even better, staple on this part. Pull it back and staple on this part, all right? Make sure you're doing that, man. And try not to get so many flowers because you don't want to staple down the flowers. You want the flowers to be up and strong so everybody can see them. A little sliver in the corner. I don't know if I'm gonna add different grass or do something. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this little, little sliver. Um, that's coming soon. I don't know if I'm just gonna finish it up or I don't know. We'll figure that out. I'll figure that out though. But we're gonna go ahead and just finish, bring it to the ground. But it looks good, man. Looking pretty dang good. So. This is the completed wall, yes. Just a staple gun. I like it, I enjoy it. I think it's gonna be a great addition to the creative space, my creative space for sure. So next time you see me, I'm gonna be finishing this up. Let me do a little research, let me find out which ones I'm gonna use and all that kind of good stuff. And I'll see you guys in five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, boy, we're back. So I got um, 12, 20 by 20 inch. Those are gonna be too big for that, so I'm gonna have to cut them some way and post them up there, okay? So I can do an unboxing for you guys actually now because I bought the box, so. Got some new grass, and look at that. It's the perfect match, perfect match, perfect match. All right, so we're good to go. The next thing I'm going to do is measure that wall so I don't know how much to cut. So let me go measure that real quick. Let me go find a tape measure. It's 11 inches, really. I'm gonna put 10, though. I'm gonna put 10 and a half. So this hat is perfectly half. It's like 10 and a half, so I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna push it to the edge a little bit. And make sure you cut the the plastic and not the actual um, leaves. Keep all the leaves on there if you can. All right, cut this. Let's see where it's sitting at. And it's sitting perfectly. Oh, perfect. This is gonna be perfect. All right, it's sitting perfectly. That is all complete. Look at that, look at that, look at that. It is all complete. Look at that. There you have it. It looks great. Look, guys, it looks awesome. I can't wait to make some content on this. And I'm actually gonna put my neon sign up in the middle too, boom. And I'm gonna do that for you guys in my next video. So click that video, I'm gonna do that next. So, so for a summary to make it easier for you, what should you do? First thing you should do is measure the wall. Make sure you guys have enough. You see I had to cut the video because I had to order another box, but I was coming from a different place. But make sure you have enough panels. Second of all, make sure you have the right staple gun. I didn't realize, luckily, I bought staples and the staple gun, uh, has three different types of staples. It has H staples, it has U staples, and the T staples. The U staples work the best for me, so the U staple works the best for me. So make sure you're buying the right staples. I didn't realize this is different shape staples. Last but not least, have fun with it. Uh, have a good time, have a helper. If you have someone who's helping you, it makes it so much easier, especially for the high stuff, because you, you, you're not if you're short. Have a step stool if you're short, so you can reach the ceiling. Um, this is just a couple things that can help you make your um, grass wall a little faster than I did mine. But all together, it probably took 30 to 40 minutes to all together. Um, I know I had to stop to, cook, to get more um, grass, but all together, it probably took 30 to 40 minutes. So you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to watch another video where I put up a grass wall with all command strips, and that's for renters free edition. So like, if you don't want to put any holes in your wall, I have another video up here. Click boom, boom. I'll, actually, I'll put it below too. I'll put it up here and below. And that's how you put up a uh, grass wall with command strips, wrenches free, so you don't have to worry about the wall tearing down. But you know, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, hit that subscribe button if you learned something today. But look, you guys, I'll be back next week with another video. All right, I'll holla at you. Chill.